Hello, this is James Routon, and welcome to my web technology series. In this lesson, I want to talk about how to create videos using PowerPoint. I recently published an article on inbound marketing entitled, Create Awesome Marketing Videos Using PowerPoint. And based on the comments that I received, I decided to create this video to demonstrate how you could turn your PowerPoint presentation into videos with little hassle. So for those who want a quick method to create videos of their PowerPoint presentations, the tool I mentioned in my title is PowerPoint 2010. I am using the Office, Home, and Student version of 2010, which works just fine for what we're talking about. I just want to share with you what I have learned and provide the steps to create your own video. And of course, with any video presentation or PowerPoint presentation, before you start, you need to prepare your script and your outline, which includes the following, graphics, bullets, and so forth. And once you have everything in hand, you can prepare your presentation just like you always have done. And when you complete your presentation and are happy with the way it looks, you are now ready to create your video. I'm going to walk you through a few steps to show you how to create videos for your PowerPoint presentation. Step 1. Open your presentation and click on the Slideshow menu. And then click on Record Slideshow. There will be two options. Start recording from the beginning. Start recording from current slide. Under these options, you will be presented with two more options. Slideshow animation timing, narrations, and laser pointer. It's your preference, but I usually uncheck narrations and laser pointer. And once I have done this, I just click on Start Recording. And number two, once your recording starts, you will see the timing of each slide at the top left of the presentation. The best method I have found is to listen to the audio that you created, if you have audio, and then click on the Advanced button or the Down arrow when you want particular graphics, topics, and so forth to display. This defines the timings for each slide, which allows you to sync your message as you would like to present the information. Now I do my audio outside of PowerPoint presentation in a program called Audacity, and I marry the two together. But you can still record your presentation and your audio in PowerPoint. It is just harder to edit your audio inside PowerPoint. But this will not be covered in this presentation. I'm only covering how to create the video. When you have completed your recording and come to the end of your presentation, you will be presented with a black screen and you will see a new dialog box. This box will show you the total time of the slideshow. You will be asked if you want to keep the new slide timings to use when you view the slideshow. If you are happy with the timings, click yes. You can always redo the timing of your presentation if when you review the video, you find that the graphics and topics and so forth are not what you plan. And once step two has been completed, you're ready to produce your video. Click on file, and then save and send. You will be prompted with another screen where you will click on create a video. In the next section, you will have the opportunity to choose the parameters that you want to use. I usually use the default that is set. Number four, click on create video. You will be prompted to save your video and once you have named your presentation and saved it, your recording will start. You will see the progress of your recording at the bottom of your presentation. That's all there is to it. Once your recording has completed, you can go to the directory where you save your file and view your recording. Now you can share the video with others and or send it to YouTube if you wish. And before I conclude, I just share with you how to create a video from your PowerPoint presentations. I did not cover how to create audio. I hope that you enjoyed this tip. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and keep up to date with all of my clips that I will be presenting. Thank you for listening to this video. I wish you success on your journey. For more details, visit my site jamesroughton.com and follow me on YouTube.